Hello, through this video, you will be learning three powerful strategies to implement any habit in your life. For that, it's very important that you are clear about what kind of habits you want to implement in your daily days. Through this questionnaire, you will learn how positive or not too positive you are living your life through your habits. Stay tuned. First of all, it's important that you understand that for all of us, it's not too easy to implement any kind of habit, especially for some people like me, that we didn't grow up with discipline, with routines, with good habits. However, it is possible, believe me, with my own experience, I can tell you it is possible. But why is not easy? First of all, it's not easy because we were created in a way that our minds are always trying to protect us in order to not spend too much energy because any action you do anything you do consumes energy mentally energy or physical energy anytime you want to implement that habit you need to consume energy and your mind will give you excuses believe me very good excuses in order to make you change your mind and say nah I don't want to waste energy and better I will just continue in my comfort zone. I will share with you three powerful steps that will help you to implement your habits to make it easy to enjoy the process. Most important, to make it long lasting. First step, trick your mind. Trick your mindset. That means, for example, if you want to implement the habit of praying next to your bed, we usually we have a, a table, right? So next to your bread, you put your holy book, or you put a knot, or you put that dress that you wear when you pray to God, to the Lord of the universe. So this like tricky, right? Because when you go to bed at night time, when you're going to sleep and you see it, right? This is a reminder. So you will say, oh yeah, you know, I will do it. Or in the mornings you wake up and you see it next to you, you will trick your mind because this is a reminder and you will feel like, hey, I will do it. My first option in my day, right? There is many ways to trick your mind, right? Once you are clear about that habit that you want to implement in your life, you need to think what is that tricky thing I can do in order to make myself, to trick my mind and go for it. If you want to do exercise in the mornings, you wish in the mornings to go to gym or to go to run or just to do exercise at home, whatever, you just put your shoes, your sport outfit, all ready next to your bed. So when you wake up and you see it, you know, you will just feel like doing it. If you want to quick smoking, trick yourself hiding or asking someone to hide your cigarettes. Don't make it too easy for you and just put next to you that you can just take it and do it. So this apply for implementing good habits or trying to, let's say, cancel or avoid negative habits. For this, of course, you need to have discipline and be constant and persistent. If you give up one time, this means you see the tricky thing, but you you don't have willpower that morning or that day, you just give up. Don't give up three or four, you just keep going. The important thing is that you try as many times as you need until you do it. Second, start little by little. Start with small change or steps or ways. Be realistic. So that means, for example, if you are someone who never ever do exercise and actually you live a sedentary life and you want to change that, right? You want to implement the habit of, let's say, going to walk and your goal is to work, walk every day one hour. So in the beginning, start to walk five minutes. And then the next week, 10 minutes. Week after 15. And like this, you know, little by little until you achieve your hour. Like this, you will enjoy the process. Because if you force yourself working one hour from the beginning, I never do it, and then today I will go and I walk one hour. The next day, you won't feel like doing it. You will be super tired, super exhausted, and your mind will start to give you excuses in order to not do it because your mind knows that you will spend a lot of energy, that you will be so tired, so will give you ideas and excuses in order not to do it. And like it is very easy 
you give up and you just don't do it. That is why we need to be realistic and start little by little. Number three, and for me, this one is the most important because if you put on practice this step, you will have long results. Don't think about what you want to obtain. Think about who you want to become. So once you are clear about the habit that you want to implement in your life, you think how is that person who already has this habit? So for example, let's say you want to be a writer. You want to write books, right? So don't think I want to write one book. Think I want to be a writer and then imagine a writer. What a writer does or does not, how this person will live his or her life. Or for example, you want to start to save money. So don't think I want to save money for one month or two months or three months. No, think I want to save money always for the rest of my life. How someone who cares about, about money who use money wisely and save things and ads and lips, right? So you need to convert yourself into this person who has the habits that you want to implement. So again, it's not about the action itself. It's not about this or that. It's not about what you want to do. It's about who you want to become, who you want to be how that person that already has that habit that you want to implement is what she or he does or does not and then you start to think and to act as you are already that person and like this you will have long lasting results if you follow these steps believe me it will work 100 percent thank you so much for watching this video and making this world a better world subscribe share comment and thumbs up until next time universal blessings